This morning, I want to lift up a verse of pass, a verse of scripture from the passage that I read in your hearing from Paul's second epistle to the church at Corinth. And I want to lift up the 20th verse. Now then, we are ambassadors for Christ. As though God were pleading through us, we implore you on Christ's behalf, be reconciled to God. I want to speak from a topic this morning that we are ambassadors for Christ. Let us pray. Father God, we thank you for your many blessings. We thank you, Lord, for keeping us even in the midst of the storm, for watching over us, for being sovereign in our lives. We exalt and magnify your holy name. Now, Lord, as we have come to this appointed hour in which you have given me another opportunity to stand behind the sacred desk, and Lord, I would be the first to acknowledge that I am not worthy, but all that I am, all that I ever hope to be, I surrender to you to do with as you see fit. Lord, speak to me, speak through me, for your people need to hear from you today. They need a word, Lord. They need a word of encouragement. They need a word of exhortation. They need a word of power so that they may do the things that you have called them to do. So, Lord, hide me behind the cross. Let your people see Jesus and him only. And let all that comes forth bring glory and honor to your name. Finally, Lord, for all of our sakes, let the words of our mouths and the meditations of our hearts, let them be acceptable in thy sight. O Lord, our strength, our rock, our redeemer. It is in Jesus' name that we ask it all. Amen. In this letter to the church at Corinth, you remember that a few weeks ago that I spoke about this talented, gifted, anointed church that had some issues. They were so talented, so gifted, so anointed that they really didn't know who they were or what God had blessed them with. They were so wrapped up in the trappings of worship that they forgot that they were given a charge. They, they were so wrapped up into who was going to do what and, and who was going to speak and who was going to make things happen that they forgot that their mission was to influence the world. Right. 2,000 years later, sometimes we forget yes, sir. that God has given us a charge. It's, it's not about us. But it's about the reason that God has implored us, that the reason that he has set us apart, that he has sanctified us. There is work that needed to be done. When, 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 when Jesus spoke to his disciples, he, he spoke to them as brothers in a great task. He called them his friends. He, he, he placed himself among his disciples as a fellow servant of God. And he issued his commission to his disciples as if they were soldiers. In, in this chapter of 2 Corinthians, Paul gives a beautiful picture of a compassionate and gracious God and a graphic and forceful portrayal of the service that we are to render. You see, we, we, we are charged to be ambassadors for Christ. And, and as ambassadors, we, we have to understand that an ambassador has a very specific mission. An ambassador is an envoy or a minister of a state 
sent on a mission by one sovereign to speak to authorities in another state. In other words, the ambassador is the one who stands in the stead of the one who sent him. An ambassador doesn't have an opinion of his own when he speaks for the sovereign that he represents. But when he speaks, he speaks that which the sovereign is to have communicated to the other state or nation. As ambassadors for Christ, we have been authorized and clothed with divine authority and power to speak this message of reconciliation to a dying world. You got authority. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, you got authority. You have been given a charge and everything that goes along with it to tell a dying world that Jesus died so you don't have to. You don't have to ask anybody's permission to say this. You don't have to ask anybody's permission to speak it. But as the divine representative of a divine authority, when you speak, you speak with his authority. See, see, we, we, we have to understand that ambassadors serve their sovereign. Ours is a position of high and holy responsibility. Our position is one of great dignity and prestige. And the privileges and responsibility of the office should be assumed with the greatest humility and gratitude. Mm -hmm. You ought to be thankful that the Lord chose you to represent him. 